Uh, my name is Mohamed Ali. I go by Mo. Um, we're at the Gladstone Institute in San Francisco, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the Conklin Lab. So my research is focused on understanding the molecular basis of how certain mutations in certain genes cause cardiomyopathy, which uh, cardiomyopathy is a fancy way of saying heart muscle weakness. Um, so uh, by using molecular tools that we've uh, adopted from bacteria, we can apply these tools to human cells to study a cardiac disease in a dish. The particular uh, heart, heart condition that I'm working on is known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is the leading cause of sudden cardiac death in young adults and athletes. So understanding the molecular basis of this disease will have uh, huge consequences uh, in treating patients with this condition. So I was born and raised in Iran and then I moved to the UK and Canada to do my undergrad and graduate studies. Um, in undergrad I studied genetics and in graduate school I studied molecular biology and stem cell biology. So back in 2010 there was a, a stem cell conference uh, held in San Francisco, California. Um, I came to this amazing conference, the uh, ISSCR International Society for Stem Cell Research 2010 and I was extremely inspired by the, num the, the, the brilliant minds that are working in the field um, and I just love the prospect and the future of stem cell uh, biology so I, I just knew that this was where I had to come and work. A typical day for me is to start the day in the stem cell uh, core looking at my iPS cell stem cells and seeing how they're doing and then planning the day based on, on that. Um, then around 9 o'clock I just come to my desk over here where I answer a lot of emails. Um, with, I need to catch up with quite a lot of collaborations and then work on grants, uh, posters, papers and presentations. And then around 3 or 4 o'clock I go back to the lab to catch up with my students and interns and then run some experiments that are necessary. So Pauline, this is the GCAMP construct that we got back. Right. I think it's fully sequenced, verified, so I think we're ready to go. When I was a kid, I really liked doing arts. So I did quite a lot of uh, paintings and art, and I think the combination of art and science also fascinates me because I think science is beautiful, and um, on a day-to-day -day basis, we, we do a lot of experiments which give us beautiful results. So I think I love that combination of using arts and science. For example, um, we, we stain a lot of our cells to, to study disease, so um, we, we get a lot of beautiful images of our cardiomyocytes or neurons that we're differentiating in culture, so I think that's, that's really beautiful. It's things that we can see on, on a dish, on a plate, and how we can stain them uh, with different antibodies. I, I think it's a discovery of the unknown. Every morning when I wake up, I'm excited to come to the lab, uh, look at my cells to see if we've discovered anything new, something that hasn't been reported before. So just, just knowing that you could be the first person to know something new about how nature works is very fascinating and very fun. It's been, it's been great working in a multicultural lab because we have scientists from uh, Japan, from America, uh, from Thailand, from China, um, and from Iran and working with different cultural styles and different styles of uh, scientific research has been great. Um, I've learned a lot from a lot of uh, my colleagues, some of them who are patient, who are very focused, who are very efficient at work, um, and some of them were extremely patient and very good at explaining things. So over the past two years I think I've, I've, cha I've, I've, I've changed quite a bit by uh, trying to adopt a lot of their personalities into my daily activity and my work. Heart disease is the number one killer in the world, so I think if we can understand the molecular mechanism of some of these conditions, I think we'll have a huge impact uh, for the lives of many patients out there. I, I hope that through my research I will be able to add just a little bit of knowledge to the, to the vast body of knowledge that we have currently and by working with a lot of great minds in the field we can improve the health of patients in the future.